Like this video and subscribe channel right now or you're going to face terrible luck next week. Fear is something that comes naturally to us humans. In fact, it can be said that being fearful is one factor that has allowed us to be the most dominant animal on the planet. This makes sense because knowing when to run away from something might definitely keep you alive. However, these 10 animals show no fear whatsoever, and have built reputations on their fearlessness. With that said here are 10 of the most fearless animals on Earth. Number 10. The Ostrich. Large and flightless, this awkward-looking bird is not to be taken lightly and can run faster than most people drive their cars around the city. Ostriches aren't known to be violent, but they won't shy away from giving any predator a thorough beatdown, and unfortunately, people often qualify as targets. Those powerful legs that terminate in sharp claws can dish out powerful kicks and attacks that often end up with abdominal wounds, and if you don't know it yet, your abdomen is where you keep most of your vital organs. Male ostriches are particularly fearless, especially when protecting a nest, and will chase down any danger before kicking it, and while they do prefer flight over fight, they have been known to take on lions and other predators such as hyenas. Such fearlessness poses quite a significant problem for people. With 258 ostrich farms in the USA alone, they come into contact with people on a regular basis, significantly increasing the risk of attack. In fact, attacks are actually so common that people actually make survival guys for an ostrich attack. <laughs> Before moving to the next number, we just want small favor from you. Like these videos and subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon to get one week of good luck for you. Try this it really works. Number 9. The Tasmanian Devil. The Tasmanian Devil is the largest surviving carnivorous marsupial. It was the early European settlers on the island of Australia who were the first to call this fierce-looking animal the devil, mainly because of its black color, its spine, chilling screeches, and reputed bad temper. And also then there's their fearlessness and aggressiveness. So aggressive in fact, they often find themselves in a scuffle with one another. Yes, the Tasmanian devils do fight a lot, but despite their aggressive reputation, they don't attack immediately. They will often use a few clever techniques first before resorting to full-out combat. When a dispute finds two devils face to face, their skin will first flush red. This turns their ears crimson. After that, they'll gape their impressive jaws at one another, screaming and growling the entire time. All that right there makes a Tasmanian devil one of the most fearless animals on earth, and this starts while they're still young. There's lots of pressure on them. Um, what if it was just the facial tumor disease that was affecting these guys? Oh. I can't <laughs> <concentrate>. <laughs> Tasmanian devil moms will usually give birth to about 30 to 50 pups. However, she only has four teats from which the pups can feed. So the moment they're born, the pups will begin to fight for access to a test. They will bite scratch and try to kill their own brothers and sisters 8 seconds after being born. Very few newborn pups survive this ordeal, and it's extremely rare for more than a handful to survive. The fighting among pups is so fierce that some will even leave their mother's pouch covered in wound scars and the blood of their dead siblings. Number 8. The Hippo. We already know that hippos are aggressive and very dangerous. It's the third largest mammal on earth and causes more human deaths in Africa annually than lions, leopards, crocs, or any other of the major predators. They're highly territorial and aggressive, and most human deaths occur when people unwittingly wander into a hippo's personal space. And then they get mowed down by its tank-like body that moves at surprisingly fast speeds. But when it comes to fearlessness, they're a bit underrated, which is unfair because if you're an animal that's willing to give birth in front of hungry crocs with whom you share your watery home with your pretty fearless in my book. He's probably drowning basically. Oh no, 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 it looks like he's gone away. He's... Whoa. Whoa, they are <laughs> oh, wow. wow. Hippos will also take on crocs lions and each other often dueling until death. These animals are especially dangerous in water and along riverbanks where they guard their ground. 
However, as long as humans keep a respectful distance, there should be no trouble. Number 7. The Cassowary. Considering their size cassowaries are second only to ostriches, but cassowary attacks are more deadly than ostriches. If provoked these exceptionally fearless flightless birds to become extremely aggressive. This means that they're going to attack viciously, using their powerful clawed legs as their primary weapons. With just one blow using these claws they can break human bones. They charge and kick and sometimes jump on top of their victims, unlike emus. Now his weapon is his inside toe there, you can see his feet, his inside toe. And yes, I'm quite surprised to learn that emus also attack people who repeatedly can only kick backward. Cassowaries can kick forward and downward. They may also peck and try to headbutt you. Needless to say, these attacks can cause a variety of injuries, the most common of which include puncture wounds lacerations and bone fractures. When being attacked by a cassowary, you should never ever turn your back to it or crouch down in the prone position, as this is when the most serious injuries happen. Instead, you should stand your ground and look as menacing as you possibly can and hope that it's enough to intimidate the charging bird. Number 6. The Polecat. The striped polecat is a distant relative of the weasel, basically a smaller version of the latter. It's got a small head and body and often weighs less than 2 kilograms, but despite its small stature, there is nothing else pint-sized about this animal. This animal shows no fear and will stand up to all kinds of other animals, both big and small, and they have a big reason to be fearless. The reason for that is because its main form of defense is a foul-smelling substance that it excretes from its anal glands. The smell of this pungent liquid is so legendarily bad that it's actually been seen that a polecat would stand its ground against three lions recorded from the Kruger National Park. These lions eventually moved away after much lip curling, and it's not only against predators, they show no fear. Female polecats will also firstly protect their unborn offspring, and once pregnant will viciously fight off any other male that tries to mount them. Number 5. Chimpanzees. Their human-like behavior makes them fascinating to watch but don't be fooled. These primates are not all cute and cuddly and those in the wild should never be treated as pets. Chimps usually show their fearless and aggressive side in wars over territory, while some kill smaller species of primates to eat. They've been observed to mourn the death and display many emotions similar to humans, but they also display an inherent violent nature, which is yet another human trait as well. The problem is, their aggressiveness can't be predicted. I mean, one minute they're eating right out of the palm of your hand, and then they're eating the palm of your hand. Furthermore, they're freakishly strong find times stronger than an adult human, in fact, they have the means to gravely injure humans if they feel threatened or mistreated. Nonetheless, though, there are still people who love to take them in as pets. Number 4. The Fork-Tailed Drongo. It's all about attitude when it comes to these aggressive and fearless little birds. Fork-tailed drongos don't like it when a predator hangs around anywhere near their nest, so when one comes near their territory nests or young ones they start mobbing. Well spotted Viam. Here we go. Being mobbed. Oh. Didn't even have a chance to see what it was there. It was one of the big this is a type of tactic behavior that encourages the predator to leave the place and run away. And it doesn't matter what kind of predator it is. These fearless birds will die, bomb them without prejudice. Wildlife observers have seen them scare off even the largest birds of prey, such as eagles, not showing even a single iota of fear. These small, aggressive, and agile birds consider a variety of animals to eat. They're very fond of eating insects. Therefore you can see them hawking to hunt insects. They also perched around beehives to catch bees, so yeah, kinda gutsy. Number 3. The Nile Crocodile. The Nile Crocodile is Africa's largest crocodilian. They can reach a maximum size of about 20 feet, and can weigh up to 1,650 pounds. The average sizes, though, are more in the range of 16 feet and 500 pounds. 
They live throughout Sub-Saharan Africa. The Nile Basin and Madagascar in rivers freshwater marshes and mangrove swamps. Although much smaller than a massive saltwater croc, it has a fiercer reputation. Nile crocodiles are known as man-eaters. Their diet is mainly fish, but this large crocodilian is so fearless it'll not hesitate to have a crack at anything that breathes. Zebras, small hippos, porcupines, birds, and other crocodiles are all fair game. It'll also scavenge for carrion and can eat up to half its body weight at a feeding. And unlike other animals whose habitat has been encroached by humans, it doesn't shy away from us bipedal invaders, and its virtually indiscriminate diet means a villager watching clothes by a riverbank might look just as tasty as a migrating wildebeest. Firm numbers are a bit sketchy, but estimates are that up to 200 people may die each year in the jaws of a Nile croc. Number 2. The Honey Badger, the most fearless animal in the world. This title is not given to just any animal, especially when it's the Guinness World Record book holder, so you should have a basic idea why the honey badger beats lions and cheetahs in this list. The honey badger is in the musled family, which includes otters weasels and wolverines, a group of pretty aggressive animals to say the least. While it's not closely related to the European badger, and was only a cone so because of the grey stripe from its head to its tail, it does have a large distribution through most of the mid and southern Africa, but also through the Middle East and India. It lives in savannas and forests, not venturing into deserts, and it's mostly nocturnal. It's very aggressive and will kill poisonous snakes and even chase away lions. It also has a good amount of loose and thick skin, getting to about 6 millimeters around the neck. So if a lion or other big predators grab onto it, the badger can turn around and attack its offender. It also has a pretty gruesome way of taking down larger prey, and it does this by attacking the prey's scrotum. As there are large blood vessels in that region, the prey can run off but will eventually die from blood loss. The badger has a great sense of smell so it can just follow the trail until it finds the body and then has a nice meal. Number 1. The Cape Buffalo. This large African animal is also known as the Black Death with good reason. They're responsible for the most number of fatal animal attacks on humans in Africa. This animal is quite unpredictable, very aggressive, and so fearless that it seems like it has nerves of steel. If you disturb one, even by just a tiny bit, a Cape Buffalo would attack anything, even large predators like lions. A mature Cape Buffalo stands 6 feet in height, and can weigh you close to a ton. The most noticeable feature in primary weapons at Cape Buffaloes are their large thick horns. When there's a member of the herd or a calf being disturbed, they would charge with their massive horns. Attacks from such a large animal like the Cape Buffalo could result in severe injuries or even death, it's most aggressive when it's been wounded or if one of the calves from the herd is under attack. An angry buffalo will circle and stalk its prey waiting for the perfect moment to tear apart its opponent with its massive thick horns. They're also known to engage in mobbing behavior when fighting off predators. Now you think about an angry mob of Cape Buffaloes charging at you at speeds of up to 35 miles an hour. When you're this scary, they call you the Black Death you earned that title tell me. Are you fearless? Let us know down below in the comments, also make sure to check out the channel's other amazing content.